I'm I'm showing a hypocrisy because me as a Christian, my authority is not the Jews. My my authority is not the Jews. But he is enforcing. He is enforcing that I appeal to Jewish authority. He is forcing it. But yet, when I put it back on him. He's going back to the Quran. I never asked you about the Quran. Why not? Because you are Why saying not? that this scripture, there must be consens consensus amongst the Jewish community that it is referring to Jesus. So I'm asking you, in your Quran, no, it says said that it. Jesus is the Messiah. No, Show me oral traditions where they agree that Jesus is the Messiah. Okay. Then it's not my authority. Right, so you're forcing Jews to be my authority. So if you're talking about anyone that's a Jew, then you must, you must, you must use Jewish authority. That's your standard that I'm holding you. That's not my standard. So, that's, so respectfully, what you're doing is imposing an understanding. So you're doing exegesis. You're, ex, you're importing an explanation that doesn't exist in the verse. What I would like you to do, show me from the oral tradition, right? Show me from the oral tradition that that verse is, is talking about Jesus. That's number one. No, hold on. Jews have an oral tradition and they have the Tanakh that explains the verses of the Old, the Old Testament, right? So what I want you to do, show me, show me a Jewish understanding of Isaiah 49 verse 6. That, that, hold on one second, one second, let me finish, let me finish. Just to show that she's not importing her own understanding to the verse, what I want you to, brother, please, let me finish. I know. I'm more, miss, my friend. You just give me the fallacy. That's my, the friend, fallacy. my friend. Julian, my friend. My friend. Let me finish. Julian. Let me finish. Julian. <laughs> let me finish. Record, record. Let me finish. Let me finish. Let me finish. Record. 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 Ready. Yeah. Right. Right. So I will repeat myself again. Right. I am here to the Simpsons. So I'm not going anywhere. I'm here to six. So I'm not going anywhere. So what I am saying. I am saying, you quoted Isaiah 49 verse 6. What I would like you to do, I want you to give me a Jewish exegesis from the Tanakh or from the Mishnah, oh, you. the Tarabum. Give me something from the Jewish understanding Can you that Isaiah 49 verse 6 is referring to Jesus. I challenge you on this. Again, I challenge you on this. To prove to me that it's referring to Jesus. That's number one. Number two, right? Number two. You said that this individual, even though it's not even speaking about Jesus at all, even though it's not speaking about Jesus, but you put in an understanding that it's about Jesus, even though it didn't say it. Anyway, let's run with that assumption that it's speaking about Jesus, right? I have just quoted you Matthew chapter 15, verse 24. I have quoted you Matthew chapter 10, verse 5, that completely contradicts Isaiah 49, verse 6, completely contradicts I, uh, Matthew 28 verse 19. Matthew, by the way, I'm not preaching, I will finish and I want your response. Matthew chapter 28 verse 19 says, Am I in this? Right? Am I in the cameras? Go in unto the world and preach the gospel. Go in unto the world. Even though, according to the Grolier Encyclopedia, it says, according to the Grolier Encyclopedia, it says that Matthew chapter 28 verse 19 is in addition to the New Testament. And the reason why the explanation that they give, the explanation that yeah, the now, scholars have given, now. is because it contradicts Matthew chapter 10 verse 5, which I think is a very fair explanation. So please explain to me, answer my question respectfully, give me a source from the Mishnah or the Targum or the oral tradition that Isaiah 46 or that Isaiah 49 verse 6 is speaking about Jesus. Sure. Well, first of all, you didn't even respond to the verse that I provided. I did. No, you didn't. Okay. You said to me, give me an oral tradition which confirms that the, the person in Isaiah 49 verse 6 is referring to Jesus. That's right, I did say that, yeah. So that insinuates that you appreciate that it is referring to Jesus. How do you reach that conclusion? Of course. <laughs> why, can't you, why can't you negate it for what it is? Go on, go on. Go on. Why can't you negate it for what it is? The fact of the matter is, I'm not interested in oral traditions. Oh, I'm no. interested oh. in the ministry okay. of Jesus. I'm glad you I'm, said that. That's right. I, I'm not interested in the oral tradition. Because at the end of the day, in your Quran, you say that Jesus is the Messiah and the Jews reject it. Can you show me an oral tradition which says that Jesus is the Messiah as it does in the Quran? I don't think you can. So it seems that we're in the same boat.
Okay, so I don't know why you brought that argument. It does not help you in any way, shape, or form. That's 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 what I would ask you to do after I've responded. So what, 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 what you want me to do? <laughs> Why is that like you can't hear what I'm saying? No, I just wanna, I just you wanna, you sure. asked me yeah. to provide an oral tradition which proves that it is Jesus in Isaiah 49 verse 6. That's correct. Because it seems then if there is something, then you will believe that it's Jesus. Yet in your Quran, it says that Jesus is the Messiah and the Jews also reject that. So I would like to see an oral tradition which supports that. Okay. And if you can find that, does it matter? Are, you, are they your authority? No, the Jewish are not my authority. Jesus is my authority. And I read Isaiah 49 verse 6 in the context of Jesus and his ministry. Isaiah 49 verse 6 is very clear about the development of how salvation will be. It will be first to Israel to gather the remnant of the lost sheep of Israel. And then Jesus, of course, will become the light for the Gentiles and they will be his salvation. It is not a contradictory to Matthew. It's interesting that you quote Matthew 10 and Matthew 15, but you continue to ignore the other chapters, including Matthew 28. It is a clear development. Yes, Jesus started with the lost sheep of Israel, as it says in Isaiah 49 verse six, and then it concludes with the apostles preaching the gospel to the nations. Again, coming back to Isaiah 49 verse six, part B, where it indicates that Jesus, the Messiah, will be the light for Gentiles. It doesn't say nations. It's not insinuating the 12 tribes of Judah. It says Gentiles. Okay? That is what is the situation. So can you first provide me with an oral tradition that supports the fact that Jesus is the Messiah? Okay. And if you can or can't, is that your authority? Okay. Notice, notice, I asked her, right, emphatically, right, I asked her, show me, she quoted Isaiah 49, verse 6. Jews are not my authority. Oh, let me finish. Notice, I was very notice. patient. I listened to you without interruption. I was very patient and you went on and so on. thank you. Exactly. Please extend the same courtesy. Uh, yeah, okay. Right. So, I asked you very specifically. Yeah. Show me an oral tradition. Meaning it's a consensus from amongst the Jewish scholars. Because remember, you are using their book. You are using their scriptures. You're using their authority. I'm using the so book of God. Respectfully, what you should do I'm, I'm using is the provide book of God. an authority from the Jewish tradition because as you should know that the Jews used oral tradition from the Targum, they used the Mishnah, they used an explanation, an exegesis outside of the Torah to explain certain verses. Not all of them, the, not me, all me, of them, finish. not all Jewish communities do. That's let false. Finish. Let me finish. That is false. Right. So, what I'm asking you is that show me an oral tradition there from, we go. from the Jewish scholars. She said, oh, she couldn't provide that. She could not provide that. Okay, I don't cool. care to That's provide no it. No, let me finish. Not my authority. You couldn't provide that. That's no issue. I'm Number not interested. Two, That's Isaiah not my authority. Verse six. Isaiah 49 verse 6, as you claim, right, is speaking about the Messiah. That's right. Where does it, where, show me one verse. Show me one verse that Isaiah 49 verse 6 is speaking about the Messiah. Nowhere does it say that. So what I, what I accuse you of is that you are imposing an understanding that doesn't exist. You are imposing an understanding that it is the Messiah, even though the oral tradition doesn't say it, even though the verse itself You're rambling, brother, it, I'm sorry. Even though the verse itself doesn't say it. Now she's, now she's speaking about the Quran. Now she's You're about the rambling. Quran. Okay, good. You're rambling. Allah says in the Quran, that Jesus was blessed. وَجَعَلْنِي مُبَارَكًا أَيْنَ مَا كُنْتِ وَجَعَلْنِي مُبَارَكًا أَيْنَ مَا كُنْتِ I am blessed wherever I am. Right? There's another verse in the Holy Quran. Very Allah says in the Quran. وَإِذْ قَالَ عِيسَى بُنُ مَرْيَمْ يَا بَنِي إِسْرَائِيلِ O children of Israel, إِنِّي رَسُولُ اللَّهِ إِلَيْكُمْ I am the messenger of God sent to you. I am the messenger of God. In another verse, Allah says, He says, What is Qal Allah? No, not that verse. Not that verse. Right? In another verse, Allah says, in two verses, Allah says that he was, that Jesus was sent to the children of Israel. I'm so sorry. No, you, you're no, rambling no, on. No, I'm not rambling. You, I'm you're trying to, I'm responding. you're trying I'm to responding. get your reputation no, back. 
by reciting a few Quranic verses and it's got nothing to do with anything. Can you imagine the hypocrisy? You ain't got you nothing. Where's my evidence? I'm quoting the evidence and you're saying, Messiah. Oh, you're no, oh, you're, you're, no you're, I never you're, asked you for Quranic verses. I asked you for an oral tradition from the Jews that they accept Jesus as the Messiah. I'm responding. You're, so why are you talking you about have, that? I'm not talking about Quranic verses. Where's the oral tradition from the Jewish? Come on, where is it? Not I'm asking for the oral traditions. Where are they? Right. I'm not interested in what your Quran says. Right. Good. Good. Where Good. do the Jews say that they believe that Jesus is the Messiah? Where is it? Right. I see now what she's done. She's pulled the question back on me. Of course, but naturally. I, but I ask you that naturally. question. So what she's doing, she's asking a question of a question. No, I'm showing no, your hypocrisy. Fantasy. What I'm showing a hypocrisy a because me as a Christian, fantasy. my authority is not this the Jews. Is a Do you know what a my, is? my authority is not the Jews. Say, but he is enforcing. Say, well, what's he is enforcing that I appeal to Jewish authority. He is forcing it. But yet, when I put it back on him, he is going back to the Quran. I never asked you about the Quran. Why not? Because you are saying that this scripture, there must be consens consensus amongst the Jewish community that it is referring to Jesus. So I'm asking you, in your Quran, no, it says that, that Jesus is the Messiah. No, Show me oral traditions where they agree that Jesus is the Messiah. Okay. Then it's not my authority. Right, so you're forcing Jews to be my authority. Me, to so if you're talking about anyone that's a Jew, then you must, you must, you must use Jewish authority. That's your standard that I'm holding you. That's not my standard. That's not my standard. My sentence, and then we can. Furthermore, no, you were rambling a lot. Furthermore, you okay, still, so you, you still did not, you, uh, you still did not address. You were talking for ages. You still did not address Isaiah 49 verse six, but it clearly I'm shows. To cut me off. No, you're talking about the Quran. It clearly shows that there are two parts: to go to Israel, but also to go to the Gentiles. It's not a contradiction to Matthew, which again you're quoting 10, chapter 10. You're quoting chapter 15, but you're not quoting others because if you did, and if you actually bothered to read the gospel of matthew you will see that there is a development in the ministry it is an it's an expansion it is it is the manifestation yeah. of an of isaiah 49 verse 6 that's just one verse but it clearly shows that the nations which you were trying to say it makes sense that it's the 12 tribes it's not talking about israel it's talking about the whole world literally okay, so jews me, and gentiles alike so let me respond I want you to respond. Respectfully. I'm telling you no, what no, I want no, you to no, respond no, no. to. Because you're rambling. No, I, I want I, you to I want you to explain. I want you to explain how Isaiah 49 verse 6 is a contradiction to Matthew. I also want you to provide me. I, will try. I also want you to provide me with the oral traditions that confirm what is in your Quran that Jesus is the Messiah, okay. that Jesus is Allah's words. I want you to, sh okay. uh, to explain that right. Jesus was born of immaculate conception. Okay. Show me the oral traditions for that, because that's the standard you forced on me. Go ahead. Okay. There's two so, I've so, asked for. So now what she's I've done, asked for two. What she's done, Isaiah 49 verse 6 yeah. and the oral traditions from the Jewish. Finish. Two. I'm go sorry. ahead. Okay, good. Now what she's done. And if you don't, God. that's it. There you go. See what I'm seeing? She can't no, I said if you don't. Respectfully. I'm not going anywhere. I'm just saying if you don't, because I'm Madame. I haven't got time to hear your preaching. Madame. Go ahead, sir. Madame. Two points. Relax. Two uh, points. Let me respond. I'm relaxed. Two points. Okay, go ahead. Right. As I said to her, right? She has responded a question for a, with a question. And that in itself is a, fa a complete fallacy. I asked her, she was the one that quoted Isaiah 49 verse 6. I didn't quote it. I didn't, in fact, I didn't even quote the Old Testament at all. She quoted Isaiah 49 verse 6. So logically, I followed that up with a question. And I think what I asked her was a valid question. I asked her, show me in Isaiah 49 verse 6 that is speaking about the Messiah. Because in Isaiah 49 verse 6, it doesn't explain this at all. What she did explain by reading the chapter, she said that it's speaking about an individual that will be sent to the Goyim, the Gentiles, the ones who are non-Jews. So I asked her, show me from the text itself that it's referring to the Messiah. She failed to show that, number one. Number two, I asked her, okay, if you can't, if you cannot show me from the text itself that she cannot prove that this is talking about Jesus Christ, no problem. Show me in the oral tradition that is speaking about the Messiah. So I gave some examples of this. I quoted the Mishnah. I quoted the Targum. 
I quoted the oral tradition. Show me from the oral traditions that this is referring to the Messiah. She failed miserably to show me this. So then I then asked her, because she failed to show me the two evidences, I then said to her, Isaiah 49 verse 6 contradicts Matthew chapter 15 verse 24. Because if Isaiah 49 verse 6 is speaking about this individual that's going to come to the Gentiles, then Jesus says in Matthew 15 verse 24 that he was only sent to the Jewish, the Jewish nation. Now he's speaking about the lost sheep, not just any Jew, the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Now, she quoted Matthew 28 verse 19. I said there's two ways this could be understood in order for the Bible to be biblically compliant. The Bible should not be seen to contradict itself. It has to comply with other verses. I'm sure no Christian would disagree with what I'm saying, right? I said Matthew chapter 28 verse 19 should comply with Matthew 15 verse 24. What do I mean by this? The children of Israel had 12 tribes. They had 12 tribes. So when Jesus was, when Jesus said to the Jews, go out into the world, this has to be speaking about the 12 tribes of Israel. Because if you believe... Listen, listen, let's close up because finish. the brother, let's okay. save him. She wants to go. You We're going to save him. We're going to save him because it's embarrassing. It's embarrassing for you. We're going to save him. We're going to save him because it's embarrassing. He still never gave the oral tradition. He never gave any oral tradition that supports what it says in his Quran. What an embarrassment. The Jews are not my authority. It's, it's, it's an embarrassment. I actually spoke to him before. <laughs> And it's a good thing there weren't any cameras because it would have right. been an embarrassment so on top of it. Okay, you want to run? See so, um, right. you wish I was so, going to run. No, but you are. Okay. I'm not running. You, right. you haven't answered my question about Isaiah 49 so verse 6 being a contradiction. You you and he hasn't been able to give me an oral me. tradition which supports what's Isaiah in the Quran. He's a hypocrite. He's a hypocrite Jesus. and he shows his ignorance. From he appeals to one verse in tradition. one chapter of Matthew no, when there are 28 chapters. So, does it make sense that you're going to quote one verse? for one chapter out of evening. 28 books you and you think that you evidence. have the whole story you did not show listen me the, the jews are not my authority so, the bible is isaiah 49 verse 6 it shows that jesus came for the jews and the gentiles and you yourself can have a part in it remove the ego praise comes from god not from man so can you answer my it question? doesn't matter answer about the about the about all this answer my question. what i would recommend Show for you brother tradition. go and go and read Isaiah the sermon on the mount he's speaking about go and read the sermon on the mount I'll become, go I'll and read you. the sermon I'll on the mount. If you can show me go and read the gospel of Jesus. He came to die for your sins. Show me from the okay, brother. You're wasting your time. He's speaking about you're rambling. Jesus. You're embarrassing yourself for no nothing. No way. The praise comes from God, not from man. Don't worry about this. God will accept praise you. Comes from God. God will accept you if you humble yourself. Okay. God will accept okay. you into the fold. It's nice speaking to you. Yeah. It's God nice will accept you into the fold. Accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior. Yeah. I, I, your sins I, need to be accounted for, Jesus brother. Is no more your, good than a deeds, your good deeds Jesus cannot get you to heaven. Is no more than a you see, this is, this is the difference between our a God. God. Our God loves us. Jesus our God, God loves us. God. God. Our God will lay down his Christian life. Right now. What did Jesus say? Jesus said that there's no greater right love than a friend lying down, laying down his life. Would Allah even break a toenail or a shin? He would never do anything for them. They are slaves. That is Greek. what they are. They can All only come as a slave. Christian, but when you accept Jesus, Jesus, you come as a child of God. You can have a relationship with the Heavenly Father. Hallelujah. 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 Hallelujah.